Alright guys, uh, we're going to use the elbow again to do a metric style connector and how we're going to disassemble it. Now this one here obviously looks like it's uh, been together for a lot of years. It's pretty aged. We'll see how easy it comes apart. But before I take it apart, we're going to blow up one of these that you guys actually crimped and made here the other day. side view here. This is the locking tab that we are trying to go down and basically we're going to come from above here and we're going to push this down to disengage this tab. It's impossible for me to do right now without flexing it. I'm going to push this tab down where it's flat to basically pull the wire out of, out of the connector. It's the same thing I'm doing inside of here. I'm releasing that tab to be able to pull the wire out the back side. To do this effectively, what do we have to do with the wire before we start pushing on it? Push it in. I have to push it in. I have to take the tension. If I'm pulling this wire backwards, it is against a piece of plastic in the housing like, like so. Like this. Okay? Now there's a little gap there. Now, if I, don't, if I don't push this up, to, do you see what I'm saying? I have to push it up so that the tab has the room to gain its clearance so that it can fold down. Does that make sense? Okay, so let me go ahead and just do one here. Now, as I come up, and the other thing I want you to notice about the connector itself, do you see where there's actually a channel to insert the tool? I mean, that's what we're doing. We're just going down there. We're basically pressing on this a little bit. We're going to kind of, what you notice about this connector compared to, what you notice about this connector compared to the Deutsch connector is you're using some force. There, it is what it is. You're going to push this wire in. We're going to shove this in. We're going to kind of wedge it in there, not allowing that tab to come back because it's real rigid. Remember on the Deutsch connector, you're actually pulling the plastic tab out of the way? Not the case on this one. You're actually taking metal that's not, that's not flexible, not meant to bend, okay? And you're going, going to uh, push it back out of shape so that you can remove the connector. Now, theoretically, what should you have to do to that connector? <coughs> Replace it. You have to, I mean, if you take metal and you keep bending it, what's eventually going to happen? That metal tab's going to break off. It's not going to hold good, okay? So you can take, when you take it apart, if you do it once or twice, you're going to be able to take a little screwdriver and bend that metal tab back up and give it a really good, you know, uh, extended position. And once you slide it back into the plastic connector, what are you going to listen for? A snap or a click. And you're going to know that you've gotten on top of the ledge where that clip needs to sit, and you're going to be good to go. So let me try and take this one apart. Now this is an area where you will, uh, I'm going to try this blue one here. Before I get too crazy, I'm going to see if it will even move. Oh yeah, i got plenty of movement. Now, it would have been easier to clean all the dirt out of this connector first. Let's see if you guys can see something here. Okay, can you guys actually see? I'm going to try and do this one right here, this N1, this one. But I want to see if the connector, if the wire even moves in there. Can you guys see that? Yep. That's what I'm talking about. That's awesome. This thing should, uh, should do well. So go ahead. So I want the thinner one. Push in. To these wires are pretty old, <coughs> fragile here. Is it in the tool straight or is it kind of angled? Rub. No, this one, sh it's, it's meant to be straight. The problem with this tool is it's been used quite a bit too and, and violated. <coughs> so 
this one just might not be doing the trick. So if I'm really struggling on this one, what I could do is try a different one. Make sure I'm not too wide. This one's a little stiffer, a little stronger. Push my wire up. I told you these are a little more difficult. Pain in the butt compared to the other ones. Does that make sense? Now, I, me, been doing this for quite a few years, right? And you can actually see I almost kind of straightened it back up before I took it out. This little tool here, I was violating it. I do not want to break this, but I'll stick with another one here. You know, as I was using this, I, I know that I had that tool bent that much, okay? So before I took it back out, I just went ahead and kind of straightened it, straightened it back up. So it was pretty weak. This one here is a lot stiffer, but regardless, it just wasn't being fun. You guys can see the tab that I ended up forcing. Can you see how it's almost flat? And you guys, don't forget, let's look at a new, let's look at a new versus old, or a removed, how much I violated that tab. Can you guys see the difference there? Okay, so you know, now to put this back in, I'm going to go ahead just for demonstration purposes, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to come underneath here and basically give this a twist. And now I'm going to make that tab more extended again, and then I should be able to go back in here. I've got to make sure that you guys can see the shape here. Let's see if I can. Uh, perfect. You can see the channel here. Does that make sense where the tab goes? Okay. Do you think anybody puts these in backwards? If I put in backwards, what's going to happen? If I put in backwards, will it lock? I can take it in and out a dozen different times and it won't lock. When I put the connector back together and put the male into this female, it's going to shove right out. Now, if I go the correct way, did you hear it lock? Yeah. Now we're good and we're secure. That's all there is to all of this. It doesn't matter what the connector, the brand, or anything else. You're going to be able to hold an electrical connector in your hand. You're going to see these channels. Now, the thing you have to be careful of is you got to think of, well, what direction do I install the tool? Because this channel is on the bottom and it's on the top. What you want to do, here's what, this is what you should write down in your notes. The tool is, I can say this pretty safely, is almost always, if not always, inserted from the opposite end of where the wire is. Make sense? Okay, let's think about the Deutsch connector. Where did I install the tool to relieve the locking tab? Opposite the wire end. On this metric application, everything I could think of, we are going to insert our relief tool opposite the end of the wire. So what I don't want to see when we get in the lab is you guys in there prying from underneath because that's where the shelf or the wall is of the actual tab itself. What we should really do is, here's a great experiment. I'm going to go, while you guys are doing this morning, I'm going to go out and do this. I'm going to take one of these connectors and I'm going to band saw it in half. And then you'll be able to see what that shelf actually looks like on there. Does that make sense? All right. You can stop that one. We'll be good there. <laughs>